on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do some work on the CVO. So as you guys know, these things are great bikes. They have all kinds of major upgrades and everything else. And they got the much more sleek designed air cleaner, but Harley came out with a screaming Eagle extreme wedge. And so this is what it looks like right here. Much more sleek design, right? Much more cut out, much more flat, looks a lot better laying in there. So we're going to put one of those on there. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like, here's a picture of everything that comes in the kit right here. So as you can see, there's a lot of extra parts that you got to take off, much similar to the normal air cleaners. It's just a little wider because of the width of this guy. But you may have noticed one thing a little bit different from my picture is the air cleaner is now black instead of red right so the red is cool big fan of red but i thought the black would look better on this bike so what i did was i got the k&n uh, filter cleaner and black oil and i'll put a link into that where i purchased it uh, in the description but one of the challenges i had when you go in and start charging this is the bottle that came with it made a big mess. There was like a lot of excess oil and stuff like that. It was hard to get it regulated coming in. So what I did to overcome that is I purchased these little bottles from Amazon. I think it's like seven bucks. It comes with a pack of three. I put those in there and you just do that. You control the amount of oil that comes out with this little adjuster and it works pretty good. So real excited with the way it turned out. Uh, like the fact that it's black now. I think it'll blend in better with the bike and the other thing I like about it is This comes with an actual sock, which we didn't get one for this in the front With the bike, but I think it's just because it has such a small area of filter showing that they felt it didn't need it But I always like to have these in case you're stuck in a rainstorm or something like that, but It's a little interesting the way this thing comes off if you don't have an idea what it is you can look in your service manual I'm going to include pictures of the pages in the service manual so you can see the blowouts and everything else there. So you'll be able to see kind of how it breaks out and things like that. But uh, that'll kind of show you how to get this off. And then when you're ready to put it on, it comes with its own instructions that shows you kind of how to put it in and the blowout. There's a couple different versions depending on which model bike you have right there. So it shows those. They come in black and chrome and uh, should be pretty cool. So back in a second. All right, so now we got everything zoomed in a little bit closer. You can see this here is the area we're gonna be focusing on. And we're basically gonna remove this whole assembly, take that off and put the new assembly back on and get the filter installed and all that and ready to go. So first thing you have to do, which I thought was kind of odd, is you have to pull off this little cover. And what this is, it's a lock and loop uh, connection right here which you know it's on there good but I think after time that would probably be something that would come undone and you'd have to replace these little tabs right here so I get they want to have that flush in there but maybe a clip would have been good or something I don't know so you got to pull that guy off and we have to take this bolt out here which is a 3 16th hex bit and that's that little guy right there and we pull off this cover and now you can see the inside of this here okay once you get that off you got the rear assembly to pull off we don't need to pull off the air filament because it's attached to the whole rear assembly but if you were going to take that off there's two bolts right here and here to pull that front cone out so the next thing we're going to do is there is a t27 bolt here one here and one here so we're going to pull those out Right there, kind of back in there a little bit. All right, and then before I pull those other two out, you've got a 916 bolt here and a 916 bolt there. I'm gonna pull those out. And see now that's loose, and now we'll focus on the other T27s. All 
All right, now that you got the whole assembly loose, you've got this breather hose that goes all the way underneath here and comes back down to the other side and attaches to your breather port box here uh, on the case. So disconnect that from that side, slide it up a little bit to give it some slack. I wouldn't pull it all the way out because then that would be a pain to get back in. And then get it to where you can get a hold of it and just hang on to it and then start pulling that guy off like that. And now you've got the whole assembly taken off like that. All right, now that we've got that off, you can see your hose is here. Now we need to make sure we have this little angle insert here put inside here. It's already threaded up, so that will go in and hit and plug in there for the breather, right? So we took that off the one assembly, so that's not in there. So we're gonna put that guy in. All right, so that goes in like that. And then we just gotta figure out the best way for the hose to hit. So I'm gonna guess it's similar to the original one, like this. And we'll sit right there and plug in, right? So once you have your um, vent hose adapter put in, angled about where you want it to be, we need to put in the new gasket. So they give you a gasket right here and they want you to put it on the back plate. So it's gonna sit right there, comes with 3M tape on the back side. So we're gonna take that tape off and then line it up with that notch right there so that it can stick on this side. And then this will flip around and mount like that. And we'll connect that hose here. And then the bolts that come with it comes with a new top bolt that goes right here. And then it comes with these gapped bolts here that will go through the back plate loosely and then screw into the intake. And so now we'll get the gasket put on, peel off the adhesive. And then you've got this notch right here, which matches this right here. And it's the same on the back plate. And then once you attach it, you know, focus on your holes in this notch. Don't worry about a little bit off right there. You want the holes to line up so you don't run into any issues there, right? So I got those lined up nice and all that. Just kind of push it down real good. That sits like that. So then they give you this adapter right here. And where that goes is in here like this. And you just push that down all the way in and that fits in there nice. And then when you put this up in there, that adapter will sit inside that intake and just kind of match up. All right, so we've got that. We've got the gasket, got our hose. So now we're gonna reattach this Breather hose here. All right, so that's on there good and snug. And then stick our adapter in there. Everything feels good. And then we're gonna start these bolts to help hold everything. Okay, just a light snug, just to make sure it's holding it. And then we'll take in our new Loctite pieces. Those go in there. And these you'll spin in, and then you see they're loose. So you spin them in past it, and then spin it into the intake. And those should go in nice and easy. And then we'll put our new bolt up top. So now everything's in there just kind of snug. I'm just gonna check my hose here and go on the other side and make sure that looks good down there on the back. And now that everything looks pretty good. So we're gonna snug this guy up. Check my seating, everything's seated good. And I'm gonna snug up these bolts. All right, so now you got the back plate on, you got your hose connected, you got all your bolts and bolts in and tightened down, everything looks good and solid. Clean this off. Then now your filter's gonna go in, so they give you new bolts for those. They are 12.516 uh, bolts. They look like this right here, and then we'll get those in and ready to go. All right, so now we got that all cleaned up. We go and put our filter in. Filter goes in, only goes one way. Sits in there like that. Then you got the front piece. Also only goes one way. That sits in there, kind of overlaps around everything. So it looks like that. And then with your front cover, this goes right over the top of that, all the way around it. Feel, make sure everything looks good. All right, so then you take your 5 16 12-point bolts that they provide. 
pop those in there. Make sure you got your Loctite on them and get those started in. All right, let me tighten these up, these bottom out, so you don't have to worry about the compression on them because they're shimmed. These are 55 to 60 inch pounds. And then just check everything around, make sure everything's good. And then we clean it all up and there you have it. All installed, ready to go. Got the new Screaming Eagle high flow air cleaner with the now k and black oil charged filters. I think it blends nice with the bike like that. I think it's a little bit more subdued. You can take a look and see what it looks like as a whole. So you can see just kind of how it fits with the, with the whole style of the new CVOs. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, there you go. There's the whole view of the bike now with the new air cleaner on. Uh, I think it looks really nice. I think it blends in nicely with not having the red oil charge on it. I think the black looks really good. And just as a comparison, you can see from the original was here, All right? So this is a little bit shorter, probably by a good, I don't know, four inches or so and thinner. So it's much more flat and streamlined. All right, so uh, very easy to install. Didn't have any issue with it. Um, like I said, only tricky thing is when you're putting this valve in there, just make sure you disconnect it back here from the top of the block so that you can get a line. Just don't pull it all the way through. Because <laughs> trying to fish that back through underneath there, you'll end up probably have to take the seat, possibly lift the tank, which we don't want to do. So just lift that up, move it around, get it on there, aim it about the same direction, and uh, everything goes in really nice. Let me know your thoughts, like, subscribe, give me any feedbacks or comments. You know how I love to hear your opinions. Hope you like it. See you guys on the next one. Be good humans. Take care.